Hello and welcome to a Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video. Today we're going to talk about a common warning message that comes up on a Mitsubishi Electric servo amplifier. That warning message is an E6 warning. Now according to the MRJ3B safety instruction manual in chapter 8.1, the E6 warning is a servo force stop warning. And in order to correct this, you need to ensure safety and then deactivate the force stop. Now there are two ways to deactivate the force stop. One is physically by wiring a circuitry onto the outside of the amplifier. And the second one is to disable it through software. Now not every amplifier is going to allow you to disable the E6 warning through software. For example, the MRJ3-A amplifiers, the analog type amplifiers, are not going to allow you to disable that warning. However, there are several amplifiers in the Mitsubishi portfolio that will allow you to disable the force stop through the software. In a moment, I'll run through exactly how to do that. Uh, but first of all, let me show you through the physical wiring how you can disable the E6 warning message. Essentially what you have here is circuitry with a normally closed contact. You need to tie the negative end of 24 volts to the four stop signal into the EM1 signal on the amplifier. Now this uh, diagram here highlights the wiring for a sync I.O. interface. For source I.O., refer to section 3.7.3 and this is in the MRJ3B instruction manual. Of course this is also available in any of the other Mitsubishi servo amplifier manuals. Um, the section obviously is going to be different. So now let me uh, run through how you can disable the E6 warning through the software. So I'm assuming that everybody here is using MT Developer 2 or MT Works 2 um, and that can be accessed through the start menu, all programs Melsoft application, MT Works 2, and this is through MT Developer 2. And I'm also assuming that everybody has MR Configurator on their computer. MR Configurator is necessary in order to disable this through the software. For J3, the software is set up 221E, as shown here. Now, just a word of caution please be careful whenever you use MR Configurator through the start menu to modify parameters they will not be saved through your motion controller. So make sure that you access all servo parameters with your project through the MT Developer 2 software. It's very important. Otherwise, the parameter settings that get changed will not be remembered. So here I am within MT Developer 2. I'm assuming you've already set up your basic settings, your system structure, and maybe some of your servo data. Next step now is to open up the servo parameters by double clicking on the left here. This will launch MR Configurator. Now everything you do within the software here gets saved within the motion controller. So all the servo parameters then are saved within the motion controller project. That's very important as well. So after you make changes here, even though there's no save, they do get remembered by the motion controller. So at first you're going to be presented with a multi-axis parameter setting window. It's best to just cancel out of this and then go to parameter over here to the left and click, double click on basic setting. Now here you're presented with some very useful tools to get started with Mitsubishi J3 servo amplifiers. Now this can also be used here for uh, J3T, um, the JN amplifiers, the J3B and B safety amplifiers, J3A. All of them include this, but as I mentioned earlier, J3A will not allow you to disable the forced stop uh, function. Now here is what we're going to focus in on. You, you want to select not used forced stop input. And then I would do a write. And then it will tell me that there's alarm already occurring. I say OK. And then OK again. And then OK. And then when I close this, it gets saved to the motion controller program. From there, I will reset the power, and uh, that E6 warning message should go away. I hope that answers that question about E6 warning messages. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a great day.